New Zealand, a very far and a very special, fascinating land, a land which also keeps a unique wand of nature, the Kauri timber. This nature's wonder arrives in the old continent thanks to the collaboration between the Wood Mine Export Company from New Zealand and the Riva 1920, renowned Italian furniture designer company, which transforms this timber into pieces of art. In the far north of the country, the dry season is the period during which the Swam Kauri men look for and dig out trees. Strange, for sure it is, but it's true. In fact, big logs are dug out and not cut as normal trees. The explanation is that in ancient times, the Kauri forests were felled from earthquakes, sea quakes and other natural events, and the trees laid under the mud for millennia, 30, 40, 50,000 years and even more. The men we see here, after finding the Kauri log, and after freeing it from the mud, are just about to start the complex and delicate operation to pull it out from the hole it was buried in. Normally they would chop it into sections, but not this time. The task is to bring it back in one piece to the yard where they will cut it into single boards of the record length of 12 meters like the one we are admiring right here. This log lay under the mud for more than 42,000 years and we know its age thanks to the carbon dating method. This technique allows to be very precise in dating any material up to 50,000 years and the approximation is only two or three hundred years. Once free from the mud, the log is tied up with steel cables to a powerful caterpillar and with the additional help of an excavator, they try to drag it to the ground level. This log is 18 meters long and two and a half meters large with an amazing weight of more than 50 tons. Despite the very powerful machine used, this operation is extremely complex and the labor intensive. For these reasons, the more effective techniques are dragging and rolling it rather than lifting it. The extraordinary dimensions of this giant tree are evident with a comparison with the man and the machines. This log, in origin, was taller than 30 meters, but cowrie trees can be more than 70 meters high and 9 meters in diameter. This makes them the biggest trees in the world for cubic meters of the log. In fact, despite they are lower than other trees, like for example sequoias, the log is like a cylinder and doesn't reduce its girth at the top. It's a real record in the vegetable kingdom. Before the first settlers arrived, there were one million hectares of cowrie forests. But after years of felling the trees, only 8,000 hectares are left at present. Today, living cowrie trees are under the protection of the New Zealand laws and it is totally forbidden to cut them down. Swam cowries are also under certain control from the Department of Forestry. Only specialized operators are allowed to dig out the swam cowries by obtaining special permits from the government. Swam cowrie is the only wood in the world which does not require the cutting of any plants, not even reforestation plants. This makes the cowrie the most ecological timber in the world. Once the log is out from its bed, the caterpillar winches it towards the ground in plain, where it will be possible for the truck to arrive without sinking and finalize the loading operations. In the meantime, the excavator remains on the spot and starts to fill the holes again. And within a couple of weeks, uh, thanks to the favorable New Zealand weather, the grass will be there again. So the livestock, which had been temporarily moved uh, in other paddocks, is free to come back and degrades again.
When the log arrives on the spot chosen for the loading, a new road is literally created by the caterpillar. Otherwise, the big truck needed for the transport could not reach the precious cargo. The Kiwis have managed to think a clever stratagem to ease the loading operations and avoid to bring on the spot a crane big enough to lift a more than a 50 tons load. As we can see, the road is created at a lower level of the ground. The excavation is done in order to have the truck and the trailer in line with the ground at the big log. In this way, it will be relatively easy to roll the log directly on the trailer. It is very fascinating to see the gentleness and the ability of the operator while making this 50 tons log dance and roll onto the trailer. But just a little distraction and the risk is disaster. The log could easily crash the means of transport like a cracker. The weight can be too much even for the powerful engine of the truck and some help from the caterpillar is needed. A good push to make the truck go over the slope. After this last obstacle, the truck goes through its way. But just around the corner, another unforeseen trouble. A small slope is enough to stop the truck again. The irreplaceable, helpful caterpillar immediately arrives. Finally, after all these adventures, the arrival at the yard where the cutting operations will take place. Luckily, the unloading operations are much easier than the loading. Just a good push and it's done. The cutting operations are unique in the world. Only in New Zealand and only for us, such logs are cut into enormous one-piece slabs, like this majestic one we can admire in this room. 12 meters, one piece, no joints. Even in this occasion, the Kiwis have thought up an ingenious cutting to handle these enormous trees. As we can see, the trick is to keep the log still and move the sawmill, which slowly runs through all the length of the cowrie by means of a specially built steel structure mounted over the log. The cutting operation is very slow due to the fact that the saw have to cut a over 2 meters large section creating lots of friction and high temperatures. Moreover, the steel structure needs to be taken away and replaced for every slab cut. The slabs, wonderful and unique, are carefully moved by forklifts and taken to the warehouse. It is now even more evident the size of these boards and we can finally admire the beautiful grain of this nature's wonder, after the New Zealand mud guarded them for more than 40,000 years. These boards are naturally treated by using only natural oils and waxes. Also the edges are left natural looking without any trimming. The tables we make from them are so special, so huge that only a few Prestigious banks or corporations have the space to accommodate these giants. But Kaori is not only that, in fact, it can also be enjoyed in normal homes with other beautiful tables and handcrafts of more reasonable dimensions. Kaori is also perfect for creating large slants for timber flooring. The lens can reach the length of 3-4 meters and 35 centimeters width. A floor like this will give the house a unique charm and a real luxury feeling. Boiserie and the paneling is also another fantastic effect, not only for the beauty of the timber, but also for the outsized dimensions of the panels. The last task for the Kaori man is to load these large slabs into the container, which, by the way, limits the final dimensions of the boards. Remember that the log 
was longer. It was 18 meters, 6 meters longer than the container. Operation finished. Now they close the doors and 8 weeks later we can open our eyes and enjoy here the Kaori boards, the largest one single piece Kaori boards in the world.